Hello everyone! We're going to be talking about Module 0. So at this point you've probably already seen the course overview video where I showed you around Canvas how to access the different parts. In this one specifically we're going to go into Modules, looking right over here, and this might be where you found this video, probably is, and Module 0 Overview. That's where we're going to start. And most of the modules start with a an overview. And so if we collapse that, and we see the optional algebra and trig, and then we see module one has an overview, module two overview. So that's where we're gonna start our tour. And not all of the modules are identical to each other, but there's a lot of the same pieces. So I'm gonna talk about what some of those pieces are. So here we have a introduction page it's overview, but it has an introduction to what the module is about, and it has the objectives, um, how it relates to the course learning objectives, and then what the module learning objectives are. And so this is really just an introductory module, but on the content module, starting with module one, you really want to focus on what these module learning objectives are, come back to those as you're preparing for quizzes and exams. And then it gives you a task list here for what things need to be done to successfully complete the module. And then you can list on, look on the uh, due dates um, as you go through the module, or you can look on the calendar, which is accessible over here. And then you're going to hit the next button, which is located down in the lower right hand corner. And then here, this page is um, particular to module zero just to give you an idea of where to find different services. If you do need to borrow a computer, we do have some available. Um, or if you need to buy a computer uh, so that you'll be able to take the course, now's the time to do it. All right. Information about me and my office hours. If these office hours don't work for you, uh, please make an appointment with me and I'm happy to try to meet you other times. Uh, all these meetings and office hours that I'm talking about are all going to be happening virtually. And here's the link for my Zoom office hours. And that's going to be a different link than when we are meeting for class. If you're in the in section 001, which is going to have uh, a different link for our Zoom class meetings. All right. The equation sheet is an important part of this course. And so this is a very simple page just to just so you could easily refer back to it as you're like, you know, if you're in module seven and you can't find where you put your printed out equation sheet, you can easily go back and print out another one. <clears throat> Information about exams. So the exam dates are listed here and you're going to be able to take the exam anytime on the given day. And this tells you how to prepare for your exams. And it also tells you about HonorLock, which is the proctoring service that we're going to be using this semester. Okay, And so I'm scrolling through these rather quickly, but I want you to, to read all about these different things. Uh, here's more information about HonorLock. Um, you are going to need to have a webcam and a microphone to be able to take this course. Um, Honor lock does not work if you don't have a webcam and a microphone, and then you also need a photo ID. Okay, and again, all of these bits that I'm scrolling past quickly are important, but I'm going to let you read those. I'm just here to show you through the module and mention a few highlights. All right, here is a discussion board. This particular one is ungraded. You'll have lots of graded discussion boards, but this, oh, I take that back. I am going to give you five points just for participating in this, so it's a very easy five points. Um, so it's just a get to know you discussion board, but you can also share any questions or concerns that you have here. Okay. So to get the five points, all you have to do is introduce yourself, say what your preferred name is, um, and then something about yourself. Okay, but you can also ask any questions you have about the course. Okay, it's a great chance. Uh, those, you know, a lot of those questions that would be answered on that first day of class in, in the classroom, you know, feel free to ask them right here. 
other, other students may have the same questions. All right, the note packet. Uh, each module is going to have a note packet. Uh, there's one or two that have two note packets. Um, but there's going to be a note packet, and so there's a place for fill in the blanks and conceptual questions, uh, some calculations, and so on. And so the idea is that you're going to fill all of that in. Um, you can certainly get help from me, and you can get help from videos and in the textbook, sometimes some external websites. Okay, so all of these resources are listed right here for you. Make it easy for you to, uh, to get that filled in, well, as easy as possible. Still going to take some work. All right, and then to submit them, you're going to submit them electronically. So you could fill them out by hand, and then you scan them into a PDF, and we have instructions on how to do that. Or you could fill them out electronically. Um, and filling them out by hand is really going to be the best way to do most of the packets, because there's so much work that you're going to need to show, and it's just much easier to, to do it that way. And then you'll click on this Submit Assignment button, and you'll follow the instructions to upload your file. Okay, and once you've finished that, you can go to Homework Zero Part One, and here we have instructions on how to use your cell phone, smartphone, to scan in a document. Okay, and if you follow the instructions in there, it, you'll be able to create a PDF that's readable, it's clear, all of the pictures are, um, all of the pages are in order, they're right side up. Uh, because this is going to make it uh, so much easier for me to grade it if, if the pages are in order and right side up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to resubmit if you're submitting pictures that are unclear, out of order, upside down. <laughs> so do take some time to learn how to use your smartphone, unless you already have a scanner. If you have, if you have a scanner at your house, then that's great. That would work even better. Um, but I did not realize until recently that you could use your smartphone as a scanner. And then there's the rubric for this assignment. All right, Expert TA is an online homework system that we're gonna be using this semester. The cost is about $33. You can certainly take advantage of their free two week trial. And then at the end of that time or sometime before it runs out, you can go in there and pay the $32.50 uh, that way just in case you end up dropping the class, which I hope you won't, but that way, you know, might as well wait a week or so and, and just take advantage of the free trial. And so you're going to be able to click on this button right here, and it will open up Expert TA in a new window and take you right to where you need to be. Okay, once you finish that, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click Next. Here's the Academic Integrity Quiz. And so you can look and read through this thing. Uh, <clears throat> this information right here on the page, but also be sure to click on the Academic Integrity Policy and read that. And then you can click Take the Quiz and you can take that um, as many times as you want. Okay, other quizzes won't have that uh, advantage of unlimited attempts, but this one you can. And feel free to ask any questions that you have if you're unable to uh, successfully complete that. All right, we're getting close to the end of module zero. This one is a little bit longer than the other modules, uh, just because of so many things that we want to give you background on. Um, this math skills assessment, first of all, we go through what the expectations are, and then it gives a file here, a math skills assessment. In a face-to-face -face course, I would give you this assessment in class, um, and then collect it and take a look. In the online world, though, we have decided to uh, just give this to you, and then once you complete it, check your answers. Um, so just take a look. It has the answers and the solutions in there. And so be honest with yourself as far as, you know, doing it without looking at the solutions, and then, you know, grade yourself fairly and see if you feel like you need some extra work in algebra or trigonometry. And then there are links here to the algebra and trigonometry modules, or you can... Um, click next here and it'll actually take you right into the algebra module okay and it says you're, it's going to take you to module one but that's not true I'm gonna to have to fix that 
um, because if you click Next, it actually does take you to the Algebra module, which we'll see right here. And if we just pop back out, click on Modules, see Module 0 here. We were just in that file right there. Module 0, Math Skills Assessment. And I will point out that all of these things that are indented here are graded things, things where you need to turn them in. The Math Skills Assessment is not graded and you're not turning anything in. So when you're in here and you hit Next, you go right into Algebra Basics, and you can see there are some practice quizzes, some background information, and some example problems. And if you feel like your algebra is totally good, you can just skip over that and collapse it if you want. If you feel like you need some work on trigonometry, same thing, some background, some examples, and practice quizzes. Okay, and so if you want, you could go right from here and skip over these and then go into module one. All right, module one is very brief. It's just the, the tail end of the first week. And then we get to module two, which is gonna look pretty similar to the rest of the modules for this course. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to follow up with me by email or on the discussion board, because like I said, a lot of people probably have the same question you have. All right, 